So I thought I'd make a quick recording on how to create and swap over your Project Cars profile, um, save file, um, for the GT3 League. So, um, first thing to do before any of this is you want to go and take pictures of your current important configurations in Project Cars uh, so you can apply them when the new save file is generated. Um, force feedback, video settings, anything that is kind of key, critical for you. Um, in your config, so if you've not done that yet, go and do it now, pause this, and come back. Um, assuming you've done that, uh, you want to go to this location here, your Steam install, wherever that is, um, and that relative path that I've highlighted in blue, and in there you'll find the default.sav file, your uh, save file for the game. Um, what you do is take a copy of that, and paste it somewhere else. Um, maybe take a few copies of it, somebody pointed out, in case something happens to that one. You don't want to lose this file. It's got all your career progress, everything relating to Project Cars config a lot. So I've got a, just a folder here on another drive, and I'll just, so I've already done this in Blue Peter fashion, but I'll just paste that in and overwrite the one that's there. You can also see I've got a GT3 League default save that I've already done. Um, but assume you don't have that, what you then do, when the game's not running is delete that file, that .save file from your Project Cars profile and then run the game. That will automatically create a new default.sav um, it'll be like a vanilla install of Project Cars and you'll have to go and get your pictures, do your configuration and you're sorted. Um, you'll get the full fuel load for the GT3 League. So do that, brilliant, and you can then take part in the GT3 League uh, without having to pit. Um, what I'll do is I'll copy this one because uh, I've already done this so after you've done this once you don't have to go through all the config again which is a, admittedly a pain in the ass. you'll just paste in your GT3 League default save rename it to take a guess default.sav and then run the game and that'll pick up your alternative profile play about with it when you're all done take a copy of it again, paste it back in. In fact, you probably don't even have to do that as long as you've got a copy of this. Uh, you won't need to take a second copy of it the week after because you're not changing anything in your config. If you do, take, by all means, save it again. Copy, paste it somewhere else. Um, then when you want your original back in, you just delete that. Copy your original from wherever it was and paste it back in. Alternatively, you could just rename the file in there. I prefer to take a copy to an alternative location. Uh, as I say, I've taken a couple of copies uh, just as a backup, just in case. And then run the game and that's you back to where you were. So, wee bit up front half, take pictures, create the new file, run the game, reapply your config, you're good to go. Um, do not go into car setup for your chosen GT3 lead car anywhere in the garage or at any point or it will mean you drop back to 60 litres of fuel and you'd have to go through this all over again. So uh, just keep this for the GT3 League, you'll swap it in on those days, you'll take it out when you're done. Even for practice sessions you can just use your original one because we'll, unless we're running a full race length practice session. And that's about it. Cheers! <laughs>